I'm one of those gullible marks who gets lured by the words one Michelin star. So I checked out the two month old Putian restaurant branch here in the Philippines on February 19, 2020. It's inside the Podium Mall in Ortiga CBD in Metro Manila. The branch that actually earned the one Michelin star is Putian's original branch on Kitchener Road in Singapore. This joint is named after the eponymous city in Fujian Province, China, where the Singaporean founder migrated from. Just pause the video if you want to scrutinize my footage of the menu. Their seaweed appetizer was pretty good. I also like the plating. Very aesthetically pleasing, doesn't look like a mess of tangled hair and like how many other restos plate their seaweed dishes. Next up, my friends and I got the sweet and sour pork because Filipinos always get this dish at Chinese restaurants if it's available. This one was very good. It's not dripping in excessively sweet sauce unlike how typical sweet and sour pork is made here. This is their supposedly homemade chili sauce that they're also selling in the store. For our main carbs, my friends and I got their lor mi. For a medium bowl, the price comes out to the equivalent of 10 US dollars. Pretty good. It's apparently one of their specialties. This is a super common and familiar dish to Filipinos, a comida typica here. Here we spell lor mi without the R, call it lor mi in Filipino and lo mi in Chinese. I normally dislike the way they cook this here. The soup is very one noted. All you can taste is the saltiness. But here in Putian Resto, it's pretty okay, pretty subtle, and there are nice fresh ingredients in it. I'm not usually a fan of these buns, but this one was pretty good. It's not too hard to chew, it's slightly crunchy. The shredded pork is also not overly seasoned. Adding the onions to this sandwich made it really good. The lemongrass jelly was excellent. The right touch of Q and slippery, but the very strong taste of mint initially made me feel like I was eating toothpaste. These glutinous rice cakes with sesame and grated peanut were also great. I normally can't stand rice cakes. These have other flavors other than 100% sugar. Glutinous rice cakes aren't easy to digest though, so don't eat the entire platter on your own. Which dish do you like best? Please comment below. Thank you for watching. See you next video.